Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be how I assemble Bluey's theme goodie bag for my daughter's birthday, sixth birthday. I Then I'm going to show you how I assemble the goodie bag because each goodie and candy is based on an episode of the cartoon Bluey. Is this Bluey... Um, logo i did have the blue in then i overlap the whole family picture on the top mm -hmm. and i'm going to be putting them in bags how i have here already i got the bags from the dollar tree they're from the voila gift bags they come three in a pack three pieces in a pack um they also had a blue one but the blue one that they had wasn't this kind of blue it was like the navy blue i didn't like it so that's why i didn't get those white ones i have i Printed this one in the size where I can glue them. I'm using the Elmer's glue and I also had this ones which is kind of Represents bingo, which I'm gonna put it on the back and I'm going to put thank you for coming um, These are from the Dollar Tree as well and then the items are from if you already watched my haul video you would have seen I got them from Amazon the stars the granny glasses and the geckos are from Amazon and the candy and the rest of the stuff are from the Dollar Tree as well as the little baggies that I'm going to be using for each of the items but you will see just as how I'm going to be assembling them. I also have stickers, which I got from, here we go. I got from Amazon. I wanted to put one in each instead of that one like that. But I also will put it on the back. And then I'm going to gift them two stickers of each inside of the baggie. But as far as this goes, I use um, pick. I put the app that I used down in the scrimshaw box or somewhere here for you to know how I got the the little drawings and and I did this as well. Then I put them in a sheet of word and then print them out six at a time. And that's how they became the certificate of adoption. I did it this small because I wanted to put it in the bunny and not a big ass thing. And also I did the, like a sign adopt a floppy and i'm going to be putting this one here's how they would have print you see four in a page so you don't waste a lot of paper and this adopt a floppy i'm going to be putting it in a frame the adopt a floppy i'm going to be putting here in this frame so i can set it up where i'm going to put in a little basket all of the floppies the bunnies are from the dollar tree and i got them in all the colors that they had violet turquoise blue pink and white i recommend for you to watch my haul video if you haven't done so already it's before this one so make sure you you check that out so the, the limits <laughs> but you're gonna see how i assemble each bag uh right now The sticky geckos they already come in a bag so I'm not gonna use any of the bags that I got here which are the 40 zip zip zipper sale bags um, because I think I'm gonna need more than I have so for the sticky gecko I'm gonna leave it on its on its baggie that it, that it came with and I'm just going to um, put the little notes the sticky gecko your own very your very own sticky gecko and i think i'm going Ta -da! this is how it looks inside of the inside of the gecko it has another little layer of it and you can stick the little paper in there i made him a little bit bigger than i should have so i'm going to cut i'm going to cut a little bit from the bottom and a little bit from the top just to leave it just enough big enough 
for um, to fit in the little baggie. It has a little sticky back um, in the back. With my hand and this little brace thing, it's hard for me to work as fast as I would have wanted. Just to make sure it's not on the sticky part of the gecko or lizard, whatever these are. I, every time I open one, it's it seems different. <laughs> now that I have it inside, I'm going to fold the paper. It doesn't matter. And then stick it to the sticky part on the other side of the bag. Can you see that? Sounds like that. Sticky gecko. And they have it. You see, this sticky gecko is bigger than this one. So they're all different. So I'm going to have to figure out each of the baggies to be in there. But that's how the sticky gecko should look. This one is for the keepy uppy. I did get the balloons from the 99 cent store. And this is a little tag. Keepy uppy. And it says here, blow up the balloon. Try to keep it up as long as you can. It has bingo and the little balloon. Now, on this one, right on the other side, I'm going to put the... This is how the balloon is. Like that. I have the baggie here. If I just put it in like that. Keep it up. Look at that. That's how it looks. If I don't tape it, I think it would be fine. Keep it up. And then the little balloon right on the other side. Just like that. Keep. They sell it all in a bunch. But this one's on the Dollar Tree. You can find specific colors all by yourself. And that's that. Keep it up, e balloon. For the burger shop, uh, we're going to be using the Krabby Patties from the Dollar Tree. Each, each bag contains eight of them. Eight, um, eight little packets of the burgers. The last one that I opened had eight. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, eight. Same system. The little baggie, the little container. I was thinking to just tape it there, but might as well put it in the baggie as well. For sleepy time is going to be the the glow and the dark um, glow and the dark stars. Let me get it. Let me move these things. These are the stars. There were a hundred, a hundred pieces in in the packet. They were from Amazon as well. Look at this is the ones. And they had these sticky things that you put on the back. So count to the squares. So each for each star, I'm going to be adding two of each color. So two green ones two blue ones and two pink ones. Jesus, I can't get them with my nails. There isn't a lot of pinks now that I think about it. Um, look at this. So two pink, two greens and two like this. Then that would include one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a little sticky thing. So that's how they look. So that's sleepy time. It says put these stars on your ceiling to help you see at night. And there's six, six in there. For the granny glasses, they also come in their own Ziploc bag. So I'm just going to put the little paper inside as well that way I don't use the other Ziploc baggies that are not needed Ugh. my nails and everything so you have the glasses I'm gonna keep this side that way you see how they almost look similar so I'm just going to insert the little paper behind and seal back up just like that 
granny's glasses here comes that granny's i don't remember what i printed this one for here comes that granny's granny's glasses um I'm possibly thinking that I'm I could cut these here and then put it here so they can know what Granny's glasses are because I think I printed these thinking of the Granny's glasses and I have double the thing. But yeah, that's how the glasses look. They have they come in their own little baggie and behind Granny's glasses. I cut the grandma's, then I cut a little more. That way the thing will look like this now. Granny's glasses, and here it says, here comes the grannies, the glasses, and then the grannies right here. Okay, next day, we're back at it again. New nails, by the way. We're gonna do, I'm gonna have this one. These are the marshmallow swirls and you can see they're unicorn poops <laughs> or unicorn horse horns. And then I have for that one, I have unicorn poop and it says, is this little puppet that Bluey has? And he says, and why should I care? <laughs> so I'm gonna use that one. I ended up needing more of these little baggies from the Dollar Tree, so. I went and got more, but we're going to do the same thing. Put a paper, put one of these marshmallows in there, and continue. Unicorns poop. There's a unicorns, and then both of the little marshmallows that I got from the Dollar Tree. I put two, two of each to represent Bingo and Bluey. Uh, for this one, it says Rita's Beans. And this is Rita. <laughs> and I'm going to have the beans, which are the jelly beans. I hold up on the marshmallows. I'm going to do this one right before the day because I don't want them to get hard. So I'm going to do the, the beans. I did get two baggies of these. So I don't know how much I'm going to put in there, but I'm going to put that one. And it's Rita's beans and one of the baggies. For easy pouring, I'm just gonna open this little corner, one little corner, and then I'm going to read as beans right about there, right about there. I don't know how much those are. And then stick one of the little papers behind it. And then we have read as beans. But that's, that's the end of the goodies in the baggie.